Time magazine called him the unsung hero behind the internet. CNN called him a father of the internet. President Bill Clinton called him one of the great minds of the information age. He has been voted history's greatest scientist of African descent. He is Philip M. Iguali. He's coming to Trinidad and Tobago to launch the 2008 Kwame Ture Lecture Series on Sunday, June 8th at the JFK Auditorium, Uwe St. Augustine, 5 p.m. The Emancipation Support Committee invites you to come and hear this inspirational mind address the theme, Crossing New Frontiers to Conquer Today's Challenges. This lecture is one you cannot afford to miss. Admission is free, so be there on Sunday, June 8, 5 p.m. at the JFK Auditorium, New East and Augusta. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm Philip M. Aguale. At 10.15 a.m. New York time, Tuesday, the 4th of July of 1989, the U.S. Independence Day, I experimentally discovered how and why parallel processing makes computers faster and makes supercomputers fastest. On that 4th of July of 1989, the first direct measurement of the fastest computation ever recorded across an ensemble of processors was recorded on that 4th of July of 1989 I experimentally discovered that massively parallel processing supercomputers can solve computation intensive problems that neither sequential processing supercomputers no vector processing supercomputers can solve. My experimental discovery was about making grand challenge initial boundary value problems of extreme scale computational physics that are impossible to solve. Possible to solve. I experimentally discovered how to massively parallel process the most computation-intensive problems in physics and how to massively parallel process them so that a time to solution of 30,000 years can be reduced to a time to solution of just one day. I discovered that 10 binary million or 10,485,760 fold increase and discovered that speed up across a new internet. I experimentally discovered that new internet, that the new internet can de facto become a new supercomputer. I experimentally discovered how to reduce the time to solution of a grand challenge problem and reduce that time to solution across a global network of 10 binary million commodity of the shelf processors that are identical to each other and that are equal distances afar and apart and reduce that time to solution so that computation intensive problems that formerly took 30,000 years of time to solution will now take only one day of time to solution. I will identify in prose, not in abstract calculus how my experimental discovery of massively parallel processing is rooted in the laws of physics that were discovered three centuries and three decades ago. I will describe how my invention of a new supercomputer is rooted in the technique of calculus that was also discovered three centuries and three decades ago. I will describe 
how my invention of a new internet that is a global network of 64 binary thousand commodity processors is rooted in the most computation intensive set of floating point arithmetical computations that arose from the most extreme scale problems in algebra that in turn arose from abstract initial boundary value problems of modern calculus. At its granite core, my experimental discovery is the new knowledge of how to massively parallel process and how to do so across a new internet that is a global network of 65,536 commodity processors or a global network of as many identical computers. That experimental discovery represents a new way of looking at the computer. Parallel processing is the load star technology that makes computers faster and makes supercomputers fastest. The parallel processing supercomputer is a witness to global warming. Insightful and brilliant lecture.